reason to hit you? He ain't paid. She weren't no good. It takes two. You couldn't even get it up. Sadie. That ain't no reason to hit a lady. You ain't gonna arrest me for hitting no whore. Yes, I am. Drunk and disorderly, assault, and generally just stinking up my street. Lock him up. What about her? Come on! This wouldn't happen. It must be been around. Come on, Sadie. Austin's just trying to impress us. Most being here, you ride high, is that it? I got a job to do. Sure enjoy doing it. This whole town went to hell. You'd just sit there laughing, wouldn't you? Maybe. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Not when I got the run of things. This ain't your town. Not yet, anyways. Ain't yours either. Sorry, boy. Closer. Okay, now don't, don't shoot. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. Damn right you're not. Drop the gun belt. Unless you're planning on losing that pretty head of yours. All right. This could be some kind of trap. Just go on and shoot him, Minley. Well, no, let's not come to any rash conclusions here. Look at that vest and that fancy gun he's packing. I don't trust him. I mean you no harm. All I'm looking for is a ride. I only do that for pay, honey. You're willing to hop in the back. Two dollars will cure that itch. That's not the kind of ride I had in mind. That settle for a lift to cut as wells. That's where we're heading. You know the way? Well, let's just say my memory's a whole lot better when I don't have one of those pointed at me. The last man we were fool enough to trust was our driver. He picked us clean and left us high and dry. I say we leave him. Let's keep moving. Now, now hold on. Hold on. Now, we can help each other here. I know this country. Three women traveling alone is not exactly safe. Rayan is especially good when it comes to judging character. What do you think, Rayan?
truth be told, we haven't been able to shoot a damn thing with this here gun. Truth be told, I'm relieved to hear it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to permit me to ride along, I'd be happy to guide you to Curtis Wells. Well, ain't this our lucky day? We're headed up to Miss Twyla's. What's Curtis Wells like, anyhow? Oh, I'm quite certain you'll fit in just fine. You say the whole town's owned by some dandified son of a bitch. Twyla's all right. You know her, Mr. Clay Mosby, the dandified son of a bitch himself. What can I do for you fellas? We heard you locked up a friend of ours this morning. Jess Lyman? You heard right. We come by to pay us fine. Sorry, your friend ain't going nowhere's. Inch. Look, Sheriff, Lyman got drunk in a whorehouse. That ain't no big deal. I'll just pay us fine and we'll be on our way. The hell you will. You staying here for at least a week. A week? Are you out of your mind for slapping a whore? For irritating me. All right, look, if you ain't gonna spring him, at least let us talk to him. No conversations with the prisoners. You can wait till he gets out. Well, ain't you a fine piece of work. Lance. Whatever you say, Sheriff. Mm. Go easy on that hard tag, will you? I didn't bring along provisions for four. And we never counted on giving rides to no strangers. Oh. How long have you been on the road? Must be, uh, I don't know, six weeks now? Good part's being in the country. Girl gets tired of staring at the same old bedroom ceiling night after night. You know why it is that Marianne can't speak? She never talks about it. Some men say it's her best feature. <laughs> what about uh, Selena? What's her story? She talks. Clearly, she talks. What I mean is... It's been a royal pain since we left Kansas City. Begged us to take her to Twyla's. She was picking up men on street corners when we found her. Probably should have left her there. What you want off to anyway? Night's coming on. You ought to stick closer to camp. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now I believe you heard something from mine. <laughs> Robbery, horse theft. You're lucky I don't shoot you right here now. What's stopping you? Very little. Where's the other horse? It's through me a couple miles back. Why the hell did you do this? I was just hungry, that's all. I was looking for a chunk of bread in your saddlebags, and I, just, I found all that money. I guess I figured a gentleman like you would have plenty more where that came from. Wait, is this something personal, or you just treat all men like dirt? We was run off our farm by a fat cat landlord, just like you. His men shot my daddy in the back. The way I see it, you're all cut from the same shiny cloth. Now where are you going? I'm just going, that's don't, all. Don't be a fool. You're coming back with the others. I can't come back there. You stay out here, and you'll die. I go back there, Min Lee's going to kill me. <sighs> Get on the horse. Sheriff. Sheriff. Hold on a moment. I don't know what's going on with this town. Mosby not around, everything goes to hell. What is it now? Somebody spit on the street? Well, the handle's broken on a pump in the square. We'll get it fixed. Repair a town property? No, 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 that's not the mayor's job. I have to ask the taxpayers for money. Wasn't that what mayors do? But in order to get the money, I'd have to call a town meeting, ask for a vote, and collect the money. It could take weeks. Mosby, just tell the blacksmith to fix it. All right, I'll see to it. He won't listen to you. He only listens to Mosby. You owe me for the ride. Now you owe me for the horse. I'm sorry. Oh, is that it? Is that all you're going to say, you stupid cow? We dragged your sorry ass all the way from Kansas City. Now you screw us over like this. Medley! <laughs> Hitch up that horse. Take turns riding the wagon. Someone there? You hurt? What have you done? Why'd you have to go and shoot him? I don't like the law. is coming apart a piece at a time. Another body, another day in Curtis Wells. Lost him. Oh, my lord. What happened? I'm sure as hell could use a drink. How much longer is it going to take for us to get there? At this rate, about a year and a half. Two days, maybe three. Three days? We're gonna be out of food tomorrow. We'll starve. Maybe you should have thought of that before you tried to strand us with one horse. Look, I don't know what possessed me to do it, all right? That makes two of us, bitch. But I'm so tired of you two sniping at each other. I'm gonna take a page from Ray Ann's book. At least she knows how to keep her mouth shut. No time for recriminations. Now, I'll put a shoulder to it. You get up there and take the horse by the halter. Uh. 
Now, what I tell you, you pull. You got that? Yep. One, two, three. Now! <laughs> <laughs> An axle. Not so fast, ladies. I just heard. He's lost a lot of blood, but he'll probably pull through. You ain't certain? Ah, he's a strong boy. He always was. He'll be fit as a fiddle in no time, you'll see. There's a lot of talk about the particulars. What went on? His keys were taken, and, uh... The man who was in jail is long gone. Somebody should go after him. Yeah, somebody should. Maybe you ought to get yourself some shut-eye. I'll get around to it. You know, when he was a boy, he fell out of an apple tree. Knocked himself cold. For a minute, I thought I'd lost him. And he got up like a jumping jack. I can't stand over another grave. I can't... I can't do it. Saints smiling down on him, I suppose. Guess I'm not the only one slowing us up now. Selena, you ain't gonna fetch much of that cat house with a mouth full of bloody stubs for teeth. Now listen! I am about five seconds from leaving the three of you here for the buzzers. You wouldn't do that, would you? Don't tempt me. You really think you're something, don't you? Think you can treat us any old way you like just because you're so high and mighty? And how would you have me treat a brazen, thieving little tart? You haven't got the slightest notion of what it's like to be poor, starving, plumb out of choices. So you've chosen the noble craft of prostitution. What am I supposed to do instead? Clean chamber pots and wash laundry in some flea bag hotel? Swamp out spittoons? I've done all that. Believe me, Mr. Mosby, making a few dollars on my back gets to look pretty good. <laughs> Miss Selena, you may be a thief and a charlatan, but believe me, you're no whore. What are you getting at now? The riverbank last night. When a woman enters the old line of work, the first thing she surrenders is her modesty. Ooh. You're getting used to it. <sighs> that it would be in dirt poor. At least working in a proper cat house will give me the chance to dress like a real lady. Well, if that's all you want, why don't you just marry some rich man? I mean, women do that all the time. That ain't so different from what we're talking about, is it, Mr. Mosby? there you folks lost uh well the man i'm speaking uh forgive our parents but i wonder if we might rest here for the evening you look like you could use a little christian charity come on inside and i'll put on a pot of tea harry we got company come to call just hope harry has a bottle someplace
I don't often get to use my good china. More tea? Thank you, Mrs. Miles. You're very kind. You're more than welcome. Gonna get you ladies anything else? I don't suppose you have a shot. Well, the tea is delicious. Thank you. Harry. Well, that axle of yours is in pretty bad shape, all right. Uh, any chance of fixing it? It's hard to say. If I had a spare wagon, I'd give you the loan of it. Well, I suppose we, we could take a ride up to the Miller place come morning. If they don't have an extra wagon, they might have a, an axle that we could cobble together for you. Tomorrow suits us just fine, Mr. Smiles. Thank you kindly. I hope we're not taking advantage of your kindness. Oh, heavens no. I haven't cooked up a meal for more than two in ever so long. Your kindness to strangers is unparalleled, Miss Smiles. I haven't enjoyed this kind of hospitality since I left Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I told him all we needed was the keys. I still don't know why he had to go and kill him. Will you shut up about that? And it's easy for you to say you wasn't there. You ain't gonna swing if they catch you. Quit your belly aching. Nobody's gonna lay a finger on us. The reason I joined up with you two because there wasn't going to be any killing. Now we went and killed a lawman to hell. Son of a bitch is still alive. He saw us real good. Then we might have ourselves a problem. Isn't this just wonderful, Harry? A full table again. I believe we should give thanks. Oh. Would one of you ladies like to offer the blessing? We thank thee, Lord, for the gifts we are about to receive at your hands. Amen. 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 I was raised in a Christian orphanage. My parents wanted a boy. You're among friends now, dear. That's all that matters. Eat up now. Carrots, potatoes, collard greens, corn. Oh, Ryan wants to know if there's any meat. Well, meat is the root of all evil in the world. We don't keep meat animals. Well, we do have Esmeralda, our pig, but how could we eat her? She's such a dear thing. Had her since she was three weeks old. Yams? <coughs> you have uh, quite an unusual dwelling here. We're very proud of it. We feel it brings us closer to the earth. Like plants. They take their nourishment from the soil, and so do we. Cool in the summer, warm in the winter. <laughs> Better than a log cabin. <laughs> I think you've made a lovely home for yourself here. Why, thank you, dear. We take a great deal of pride in it. Oh. Just the two of you working this whole spread? That's a lot of work. Well, we devote our lives to simple pleasures and work in the fields. Say, after supper, why don't you show the ladies your quilting? Oh, my, yes. You know, I've been working on that for almost ten months. Is that so? Scraps are hard to come by, though. Hard to come by. You're a lucky man, traveling in the company of three lovely ladies. Sometimes I can't believe it myself.
are you up to now? Oh, just come here. Look. Look at this. Paws and paws of different size clothing, buggies, jewelry. I heard a noise outside, so I went to see what it was, and I found all this. Look. Whoever owned these won't be needing them anymore. Don't have a word with our gracious hosts. Some keepsakes you got out there. It's amazing the things that people leave behind. We're all those people, Harry. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Mankind is from the earth. We just return them there. You son of a bitch. Yes, I am. actually. The bullet lodged behind a rib, and I realized if I tunneled through the entrance wound, I wouldn't have to make an incision. Of course, I, I had to dig around some. Sorry I missed it. Sheriff, what in heaven's name are you doing? You should be in bed. Never felt better. Oh, I see. And what if you start bleeding again, exsanguinate? I'm gonna kill the bastard who shot me. You hear me? Here. It'll help the pain. Ask you a smart. Are you gonna catch them when you don't even know why they did it? I know why they did it. So they could get their buddy out of jail. That's why. Shooting a lawman, leaving him for dead? Must have wanted him out awful bad. Mine payroll's being divvied up tomorrow. All right. That's right. This bank is my personal responsibility. If anything happens to the money... Nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna be here all night. My lord, we have to stop them. Go home, Mr. Hoskins. I'll take care of it. No, I really should close my books. Go home. Your books will be here in the morning. you hurt? It's just a crease. Can I help? I have seen a lot of sights in my day. I have rarely come across anything quite so sickening as the likes of you. We set a good table. Your beds were soft. We even grained your horse. I don't know what you're acting so mean about. It's not like we tried to murder you, none. Well, that was the next step, wasn't it? Wasn't it, Harry? We get to cut as well, so I'll send the sheriff to pick you up. 
Of course, that may take a few days. We'll starve to death by then. You don't shut your mouth, I'll save you the trouble. Do you want? Wells Fargo offers a standard reward. Fifty dollars for anyone who can stop a robbery from happening. Trust you'd know that. What happened to all your deputies? This is personal. Look at you. What are you trying to prove? That people just can't walk into town and shoot me. Ain't that enough? If you black out and they come back, they could shoot you again. Just clear the hell out, Cole. I can't do that now. They might see me leave. Don't want to spook them. Uh, ladies. Doing. We? What do you mean, we? I'm the one who got shot. She's fine. Oh, no, well, that's a relief. I'd hardly wait for her full recovery. <laughs> now you bring out the whiskey. Here's a getting away from them freaks. Yeah, yeah. She says she's glad we met each other on the road. Me too. Well, there's a <clears throat> doctor in Cut as well, the doctor please, he'll fix you up. With this new team and the Smiles Wagon, should be there by nightfall. Wouldn't be too sure about that, Mr. Mosby. You met our girl, Jackie? <clears throat> Listen. There's no sense to this. Don't you see that? I mean, you, you got my money, you got the, the wagon, the, the horse. You're gonna kill me, at least let the ladies go. I don't see no ladies around here. You, Edith? Now you just shut up and dig. No. No, you're gonna shoot me. Shoot me, I'm exhausted. And not until that hole's deep enough for the lot of you. And then you can watch us pick off these sluts one at a time, starting with the quiet one. Look, look, I, I, I don't think you realize who you're dealing with here. Now, I, I am the most prominent citizen of Curtis Wells, and my, my disappearance will not go unnoticed, and neither will theirs. Well, they'd still have to find you first. Now, you gotta count to three before I start killing. One! Two! All right. What the hell? Looks like she's ready to plan already. Jack! Damn! Oh. 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 We brought you along. Uh, consider it payment for the ride. You still owe me for the horse. Uh. 
Some things in life you wish you hadn't seen. And people, how can they be so evil? They're probably regular folks once. And sometimes you start down a path that feels like the right one. Instead, it leads you straight to hell. Min? Are you all right? Min Lee? What is it? Oh, my God. What's the matter? Oh Stop the wagon! Stop the wagon! Whoa! Whoa! What is it? Min Lee? <laughs> she didn't even say anything. Why didn't she say something? better here than in a boneyard in some strange town. Uh, I'm not much of a church going man, but if you, you want to say something. She wants you to read it. When Lee came from a far off land to seek a better life, she found hardship and pain, but she also found love and friendship. She takes with her my voice. Min Lee rests with the angels now. May her spirit find peace. Amen. Why don't they come? I thought for sure they'd make the move before daylight. Looks like you figured wrong. Shut up, Cole. Nobody asked you to be here. I can't let you have all the glory. Admit it. You're only here because you didn't think I could handle this on my own. Don't give me no bunk about a reward. You're hurt bad, Austin. Your reflexes are slow. You being here don't change anything. Hard to believe we was once friends. That's for damn sure. Don't you do it. Don't you pass out on me. Hold it. Drop your guns. I'll blow his brains out. Step away from the guns. Open that safe. Nice and easy. Understand?
shot the damn banker. Place? Well, I'm certain Sadie and the girls will make you comfortable. Unless, of course, you'd like to come to the Ambrosia and work for me. Slinging beer and working for tips? No, thank you. As you wish. Should you change your mind, my door's always open. Mine too. Well, welcome home, Mr. Mosby. Sadie? You are a side. I trust you've been expecting these ladies. Well, yeah. The anaconda miners get paid today. There'll be plenty of work for everyone. been some trouble out at the stand and spread. I'm gonna take some men out there, see if I can't straighten it out. You're in no condition to be riding out far. What's the good doctor have to say about that wound? If I listened to him, I'd still be in bed. Sheriff Peel, you're my eyes and ears in this town. My right arm. If that bullet had killed you, well, that would have been very inconvenient for me. Inconvenient. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Good day, Mr. Mosby. So it is, Celine. And don't you look fine. So do you. Minley was right. You are a dandified son of a bitch. <laughs> How are things over at uh, Twilight? Everything I hoped it would be. Splendid. I'm glad to see you looking so content. <laughs> 